name is Jim Ross and I'm the Director of Commercial Sales here at Ding of Defense. Today I want to talk to you about our DDM-4 V1 rifle. The V1 is our flagship rifle, but since its inception, it's changed a little bit. So we're going to start out at the muzzle device. This particular rifle comes with a Ding of Defense flash hider, which is a salt path nitride finish. The barrel is a 16 inch carbine length barrel. It is an M4 profile. You'll notice that the V1 does come with a fixed front sight base, which is a very cool feature. That means it's also going to come with the Dang of the Fence fixed rear sight. The rail system here is our DDM4 rail with a front sight base cut out. Again, all of our rail systems are going to come with a patented bolt up system, so they're extremely rigid and very reliable. The V1 comes also with a vertical foregrip that is attached to the Picatinny rail section. It's also going to come standard with the rail panels that you can remove or move around the rifle as you see fit. Also on this rifle, as with all Dang of the Fence rifles, you're going to get the Dang of the Fence furniture kit. So it's going to have the glass infused polymer stock, glass infused polymer uh, pistol grip with the integrated trigger guard, and they're all going to come with the rubber over mold, which is very nice feel and it's nice to shoot. So all of these rifles are going to come standard with the Dang of the Fence 32 round magazine. The flagship rifle for Dang of the Fence is the DDM4 V1. It weighs in at just over six pounds, and overall, it's an extremely reliable and very good looking rifle, and I can guarantee it will be a great addition. Cougar AR556, the standard model 8500, is an exceptional value in the modern sporting rifle. A rugged, reliable Ruger, it will serve you well out of the box or serve as a great foundation for your custom build. The Ruger AR556 MPR, or multi-purpose rifle, is Ruger's custom build. It's assembled with top quality, well-matched components. It's still a rugged, reliable Ruger. It's still an outstanding value. The AR556 MPR is an exceptionally accurate rifle and it seems to do everything very well. The heart of the AR556 build is its barrel. Cold hammer forged from chrome molly steel. It's forged with minimum bore and groove dimensions and 5R rifling. 5R rifling distorts bullet jackets less, fouls more slowly, cleans more easily. This barrel is forged with a 1 in 8 twist that will stabilize just about any bullet length and the 18-inch length gives a little extra velocity boost over the standard 16-inch tube. A highly accurate build need not have a super heavy barrel contour. The AR556 MPR has a 700 diameter in front of the gas block, a 750 diameter at the gas block journal, and the barrel contour is trimmed away behind the gas block. This lightweight contour contributes to fast and quick handle. The barrel is capped with a radial port muzzle brake that reduces recoil and muzzle rise, further contributing to quick handling. Recoil is further reduced by the rifle length gas system. The softer operating impulse is easier on the rifle and easier on the shooter. Accuracy is further enabled by the low pro gas block which is free floated inside the 15 inch handguard. This light trim handguard features M-lock slots at the 3, 6 and 9 o'clock position as well as the upper 45 positions and a full length Picatinny rail that matches the Picatinny on the flat top upper. The barrel is nitrided to help it maintain its great accuracy over more rounds downrange. Longevity is further enhanced by chrome plating on the ID of the bolt carrier and the bolt. The bolt is 9310, it's shot peened and proof tested. The Ruger AR556 MPR features Ruger's Elite 452 trigger. It's a two stage trigger. The first take up stage is followed by a crisp, clean four and a half pound break. The Ruger MPR features Magpul MOE furniture, the adjustable for length buttstock with a comfortable cheek weld, the appropriately textured grip for great control and great comfort, and when coupled with the trim handguard, the MPR offers great ergonomics. The Ruger AR556 multi-purpose rifle does everything well. If your game is shooting tiny groups from the bench, three gun or multi-gun events, or just plinking at the range. Everyone, I'm John Rasmussen from HK Shooting. You know, there's probably no more recognizable firearm in history than the iconic HK MP5. From military special operations unit to elite law enforcement teams, 
Just the mere profile of the MP5 is immediately recognizable by people from around the world and all generations. It has been 30 years since the U.S. public has been able to buy an MP5 style farm from HK. Sure, there have been clones, but a real German-made HK MP5 style farm has been unavailable. But now, after a long and painful wait, it's here. The HK SP5. The SP5 is an all German-made 9mm roller-delayed blowback action sporting pistol. It's shipped standard with a rugged nylon case, two 30-round curved magazines, a sling, and a sight tool. The heart of any farm is its barrel. The SP5 comes standard with the Navy barrel an 8.9 inch cold hammer forged barrel made of HK's legendary cannon grade steel. With the half by 28 pitch threaded muzzle along with the tri-lug barrel allows the attachment of many commonly found muzzle devices and suppressors. The backbone of the SP5 is its roller delayed blowback action, legendary for its accuracy, reliability, and smooth operation. The SP5 comes standard with HK's upgraded F bolt carrier group. Developed in a bid to win a European law enforcement contract, HK had to submit 10 sample MP5s, which had to fire 400,000 rounds of ammunition with zero stoppages and only minimal malfunctions allowed. This same bow group is found in the SP5. Another welcome upgrade on the SP5 is that it ships with the ambidextrous trigger pack, which includes the extended safety selector levers. The extended safety selector levers allows both right and wrong-handed shooters to more easily manipulate the safety regardless of finger length. Just like the MP5, the SP5 comes standard with a paddle magazine release, which is fully ambidextrous and facilitates faster magazine changes. When you buy an HK SP5, you get quality HK fit and finish. You won't get an out-of-spec magazine wheel, out-of-spec optic mounting tabs, a crooked cocking tube, a canted front sight, an out-of-timed barrel. What you will get with the SP5, because it's made in the same factory, on the same tooling, by the same workforce that has been building MP5s for years, is the highest level of quality and workmanship that can only be found from HK. The SP5 ships as a pistol, but it is easily SBR'd, and it accepts all common braces and stocks without fitment issues common in other clones. The new HK SP5. I'm Patrick Hanley with Sig Sauer, and what I have for you today is the new cane brake rattler. As many of you know in the past, the MCX has been very well known for its six and three quarter configuration. The suppressed version of the six and three quarter was the original reason the MCX was designed. Then we later moved into the Rattler family, which brought that barrel size down to five and a half. Never before have we shipped in this configuration an SD ready platform, for the reason being that once we install the SD handguard, the barrel usually sits with inside the handguard. With the inert training device, it allows to make sure that the user, if they do not have a suppressor installed, has the ability to function the firearm without the flash being inside of the handguard. This inert muzzle device is designed that it can function with the rifle, in the unsuppressed setting. However, the intention of this rifle is to have it set up so that it can be suppressed. Any 762 suppressor will immediately mount to this platform by removal of the inert training device. Some of the other features that we have to the cane brake rattler is we have a flat blade FDE trigger, which is a match two-stage duo trigger to what same as what ships on MCX today. And then you also have the PCB folding brace in the back, which allows you to bring the rattler down to a smallest possible configurable size for storage. This PCB also pivots in the back to allow any users, when they're functioning this as a pistol, to be able to bend their arm so the rifle will actually contour with their, with their arm as they shoot. We introduce to you the new Smith & Wesson M&P 15X rifle. Some of the features of this rifle is a six position buttstock. Going forward to that, it has a flip up rear sight. It's made by Magpul, it's the MBUS model. And on the bottom of the frame here, they have an integral forged trigger guard. The handguard assembly is an M&P Slim modular handguard with M-Lock capability. It also ships with a two inch rail section so you can attach vertical grips or optics or an accessory of choice. Moving on to the barrel assembly, it comes with a 16-inch barrel. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO. It also has 5 bar rifling, and it'll handle any bullet weight you can put in it, from the lightest to the heaviest. It has a carbine-length gas system. The barrel is treated with an armor knife finish, both interior and exterior, and that's really great for wear resistance and also corrosion resistance. And it's all topped off with their proprietary flash suppressor, guys. This also works as a mild muzzle brake. Uh, just a good setup. Also included is the Magpul 30-round PMAG, 